Okay, guys, that's time we stopped here. And it should, as I said, it should be working for you. The only thing that kind of kind of bothers a little bit is the fact that when you come here and do add student, let's put here, for example, I'm gonna actually let me show you how it should be working. Like right now, if I come here to view students, my last student is this person, Vanessa Camargo. So let me close that out. And let me add somebody now. And I'm gonna I'm gonna add no let, let's add that guy now. But he's in me so much. John Baptist. He's a male. This R is bugging me. Um and I'll put it four for, for his EPA. So add student. You see the the window's still here and that kind of bugs me. We're gonna see how we can fix that in a little bit. So but I add it. If I press here again, it's gonna add it twice. So I don't wanna press it again. So cancel. Let me see here, view students, and here it is, my next student. Okay, so it's working, it's the way we want it. You can also go here to um, to your database, and I actually advise you to do that. I mean, uh, even though we know it's working, go to your database and check that out. Make sure that over there, uh, it, it's, it's showing that new guy you just added. So... Come on, let me connect. Come on, don't take that long. Okay, let me fix that. But here on the okay, so go here to databases. We using uh, school, right? So tables, and here for student, I can actually I put here select. Uh, where? How do I do that? Okay, select with the right button. Select top a thousand rows. So it's gonna show all of them because I don't have a thousand. But here, the last one was the one I just added, right for the GPA four and John blah blah blah. So yeah, make sure you take a look on that. You see how it works. It's good to actually have the management open as we go. So now, but we wanna, what we wanna do is uh, get this nice. Want to make sure that disappear. I want to try a couple things here. First of all, I want to try. Um, let me do this first. Message box dot show. Uh, and I put here student the first name plus plus was added. Okay, so that's just to tell me. Oh, it was added. So whenever you you here let's take a look at it how how should whenever if that goes all the way through it's just going to give you that successful message all right so add student maria madalena she's a female and she got a three add student it's going to say maria was added okay this is still here let's see if she was really added students there you go maria is there okay good now, how do I get rid of that? Let's, oh, not here. Let's just come here and do a dialog, dialog result equals to true. That's what's gonna happen now. Here it goes, add student, Joan, no. I put too, much, too many Jones in here already. Put here Ruben. Maldonado is a male. I'll, I'll give him a two point two GPA. Add student Ruben was added and now it disappeared. Now, what if you want to keep that window there blank? I think there's a way to do that. Let me try something here. Uh, we probably have the window loaded method here. Oh, we don't. Um, well, let's just come here to the XAML. Add student dot XAML and let's click over here twice you see right here that's gonna create a window loaded so create it twice there you go create a window loaded uh, I don't want to put anything in the window loaded okay let's keep that way and this is just it's gonna be an experiment I don't know if it's gonna work I'm gonna try it though window load I'm gonna call that function right here uh, I'm gonna give a no I'm gonna give a no Let's try that out and see what's going to happen. I'm not sure, honestly, but let's see. So 
med student Mary Monroe female and I'm gonna give her a three okay uh, it didn't disappear let me try just another thing here let me keep that and I'll call Sarah Brown, the female, and I'll give her four. I'll give her own one. So I was edit. Okay, yeah, it's not working the way I was thought they could work. Um, anyway, if you want to get rid of that window, just keep that the way it is here. Dialog result equals to true, and it should be good. Okay, next time, guys, um, since you already did the ad student, we're going to do an update, and that will be for the edit student. So I ask you again, do for the, the, the class, add class, okay? It's pretty similar to what we did for add student. Uh, you just, you know, you, you, you're going to, it, it will be actually be a good practice. Just make sure the fields that you have in the database, it's pretty much the same. Like, pretty much the same. With the field, let me actually take a look at the fields that we had for the, for the class. I named it here subject. Let me see the design. If I can remember. Come on, open. So here we just have subject ID, and that one's supposed to be uh, auto incremented. So just subject name is just kind of like, for example, CIT uh, 330 or accounting 220. So that would be the subject name. Description, just what it does. So CIT 330 is a web development class, let's say that. So we're just going to put a description for that. And credits, we have a name. I think we should probably choose uh, change it to a float. So if you want to go ahead and change to a float, you can even leave it as an int if you want to. It doesn't matter. But when you do a try to parse, make sure you try to parse to int if you want to leave it that way. Otherwise, try to parse to a float the same way we did for the other guy. So yeah, it's pretty similar. Do that practice on that you know if you have any problems let me know uh, but I don't think you have any problems and for the next tutorial we're gonna do an edit student okay it's gonna be just changing whatever student we choose and things like that from, from the students that we already have in the database and I'll ask you afterwards to do an edit class in the same way okay uh, we almost done with all those tutorials I believe that maybe five or six more are we going to be done. I was expecting to have only 20, but um, time is it goes by fast. So thanks again, guys. Uh, hopefully everything works out for you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.